Hello guys, so in this uh, video we will uh, learn about the job sequencing problem with red lines uh, which, which is solved by the grid algorithm. So the problem says that we have a single CPU available and the job executed in the CPUs are known from D. Means if one job is executed, the second job cannot be executed uh, by the CPU. Okay. So the third uh, assumption is for all job one unit time of processing is required so it is mandatory that every job will take one unit of time and the fourth assumption is arrival time of every job is equal so each job will arrive at the same time so if any company be if, if a project manager is there uh, and that project manager receives four jobs at the same time with some deadlines and profits then the idea is we need to we need and the project manager is uh, uh, need to select the job uh, between these four jobs which will result in the maximum profit so we cannot do all the cho uh, choices uh, uh, so that the maximum profit can actually be achieved because we cannot complete all four jobs because uh, and if we if we cannot complete any job it means the project manager should be fired so if we have only two months uh, in which I need to finish all the job or project manager will need to finish all the jobs then because each job will take one unit of time or one month then it requires four months to be completed. So I cannot complete all four jobs in order to achieve the maximum profit. So the optimal solution is that the solution which satisfy the constraint that we have only two months it means only two jobs can be executed and the jobs uh, with the maximum profit we have to uh, we need to select okay now for the maximum profit uh, what we can select in this example so suppose let's uh, give some values to the deadlines and uh, profit then we will make it more clear so suppose the project have the deadlines like uh, for job 1 we have 2 months for job 2 we have uh, 1 month for job 3 we have 2 months and for job 4 we have 1 month okay and the profits are for job 1 we have 200 dollars for job 2 we have 100 dollars job 3 will have 500 dollars and job 4 will have four hundred dollars now in order to uh, make the maximum profit uh, for the uh, two month problem either we can choose any two jobs with the uh, maximum profit so for the second month so uh, we have two months first first and second so for the uh, in the second month we can do only uh, job number three and job number one okay because both jobs have two months of deadline so if i complete any job from uh, this three and four then i can continue with the job one and job three okay so the approach is i will i need to for the maximum profit i need to select from between the job two and job 4 between job 2 and job 4 the maximum uh, the f uh, I, I i need to calculate the maximum profit for first month so because in job 2 and job 4 job 4 will give the maximum profit so i select the job 4 with the maximum profit 400 and because we have deadline 1 so one month is over again in second month i i have two choices either i can execute job 1 or job 3 so between job 1 and job 3 because the maximum profit is of job 3 i will select the job 3 i will select the job 3 in order to make the maximum profit so the profit is 500 for job 3 and another one month is also gone because the deadline is two months i can manage it in one month okay so the total profit um, by greedy approach is 900 how i say this approach is greedy because in this approach 
we will make a locally optimal choice first we will see that we have two months then how many how many jobs can be executed in the second month so we results in the uh, output that we can execute job number one and three in second month then we will look for the job number two and four with the maximum profit so i found that job number four have a maximum profit 400 i add it to the my so, uh, output space then i will select uh, the second best profit job between one and three and i find that three will be the second best uh, maximum profit so i will add it to the my solution so the solution is 900 okay this is the optimal solution for this problem now if i uh, uh, talk about the feasible solution for the same problem so the feasible solution is so let's discuss about the feasible solutions what are the feasible solution of the same problem so feasible solution are those problems which uh, does not cross any deadlines okay so all single job can be a feasible solution so j1 individually can be executed it is one of the feasible solution j2 individually can be executed with the uh, profit uh, 100 j3 individually can be executed with the profit 300 or oh, sorry 400 and j4 can be individually executed with the profit 500 okay now these individual activities can be executed now j2 j1 can be executed because the deadline for j2 is uh, you can say that the dead deadline for job 2 is one month and the de deadline for job 1 is two months so these two can be executed so this may be a feasible solution with the profit 300 similarly j1 and j3 can be executed with the profit 700 j2 and uh, j3 can be executed with the profit 600 j3 and j1 can be executed with the profit 700 now j1 and j2 cannot be executed because j1 have a two month deadline and uh, after one month because minimum time to complete a j1 is one month and after one one month i cannot uh, give j2 because the minimum completion time for j2 is one month so i cannot make the combination j1 j2 so it is not included in feasible solution similarly j2 j4 cannot be executed in the feasible solution and j1 j4 cannot be executed into the feasible solution so these three cannot be executed uh, can would not be included in the feasible solution okay so for the job scheduling uh, approach uh, what we have we have a job with some we have a job with some deadline and profits and the feasible solution is the completing the job in the given solution with the deadline within the deadline so if i complete any job within the deadline that is my feasible solution and the optimal uh, solution would be uh, the feasible solution which will give the maximum profit is the optimal solution which will give the maximum profit okay so this is the overall idea about the job uh, scheduling problem okay let's uh, solve some of the uh, example based on the job scheduling problem so problem number one uh, we need to find out the maximum profit of the following uh, job scheduling problem uh, n is equal to 4 means 4 jobs are given ok and uh, jobs j1 with the deadline 2 months and profit 200 okay j2 with red line 1 and profit 15 j3 with red line 2 and profit 10 
एंड जे फोर विद डेड लाइन वन एंड प्रॉफिट ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके नाउ बिकॉज सो फर्स्ट हाउ मैनी नंबर ऑफ जॉब्स वी कैन एग्जीक्यूट सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फाइंड आउट द मैक्सिम नंबर ऑफ जॉब दैट कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड सो बिकॉज द मैक्सिम डेड लाइन इज टू इट मीन्स ओनली टू सो मैक्सिमम जॉब्स दैट मे बी एग्जीक्यूटेड आर टू सो वी कैन चेक दिस बाय द बाई सींग द मैक्सिम डेड लाइन अवेलेबल ओके सो द सोल्यूशन स्पेस इंक्लूड्स ऑल इंडिविजुअल जॉब्स फोर प्लस और ऑफ फोर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू बिटवीन दिस फोर ओके सो दैट इज फोर प्लस सिक्स दैट इज टेन सो वी हैव टेन एज अ सोल्यूशन स्पेस एंड द फिजिबल सोल्यूशन इंक्लूड सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट द फिजिबल सोल्यूशन एज वी फाइंड आउट अर्लियर बट वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन ऑप्टीमल सोल्यूशन आई जस्ट राइट डाउन द ऑप्टीमल सोल्यूशन डायरेक्टली फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम सो द ऑप्टीमल सोल्यूशन इज जे फोर एंड जे वन द आइडिया बिहाइंड दिस इज बिकॉज जे फोर एंड जे टू आर द प्रॉब्लम्स विच इज नीड टू बी सोल्व इन द फर्स्ट मंथ सो दिस इन बिटवीन दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स जे फोर हैव अ मैक्सिमम प्रॉफिट सो आई इंक्लूड इट इन माई सेट दैन इन सेकेंड मंथ वी कैन कम्प्लीट जे वन एंड जे थ्री एंड दिस टू जे वन हैव अ मैक्सिम प्रॉफिट सो आई इंक्लूड जे वन इन माई सेट द ओवरऑल प्रॉफिट फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टू ट्वेंटी सेवन सो द मैक्सिम प्रॉफिट अचीव बाय द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर इज टू ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अनदर प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द सेम अप्रोच प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू सो इफ एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव इज गिवन एंड द नंबर ऑफ जॉब्स आर जे वन जे टू जे थ्री जे फोर एंड जे फाइव फाइव जॉब्स आर गिवन विद द डेड लाइन थ्री 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 फोर एंड फोर विद द प्रॉफिट टेन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन फाइव एंड एटी ओके सो द ग्रेडि अप्रोच विल सेलेक्ट दैट बिकॉज हाउ मैनी मैक्सिमम हाउ मैनी नंबर ऑफ जॉब्स आई कैन एग्जीक्यूट आई कैन एग्जीक्यूट फोर जॉब्स बिकॉज द मैक्सिम डेड लाइन इज गिवन इज फोर सो आई कैन एग्जीक्यूट फोर जॉब्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम नाउ बिकॉज जे फोर एंड जे फाइव हैव मैक्सिम डेड लाइन सो आई एम नॉट टच हियर एंड दीज थ्री हैव द सेम डेड लाइन एज थ्री विच इज अ मिनिमम डेड लाइन सो आई नीड टू सेलेक्ट बिटवीन दीज थ्री uh we we i can select uh, two jobs okay so between these th uh, three the maximum profit is of j2 so i write here j2 then the second maximum profit is of uh, j3 so i write here j3 and the third maximum profit is of j1 so i write here j1 then after this i have two choices for the fourth month and in these two choices i will select the j5 so j5 is selected so so this is uh, so this is the uh, output of the solution the maximum profit is 10 sorry uh, 20 plus 15 plus 10 plus 80 and this will result in 125 so similarly we can solve the an, uh, another problem so for the if if you if i calculate the time complexity taken by this job seeding algorithm i can say that the algorithm for the problem would be sorry just drop it up uh, yes so the algorithm for job scheduling uh, problem is 
the first step is we have to find out the maximum deadline in a given array of deadline so find maximum deadline this will take order of n time in order to find the maximum deadline in an array second is uh, we need to arrange all the jobs in the decreasing order of profits so arrange jobs in decreasing order of profit means one type of sorting is there decreasing order of profit because sorting algorithm is applied so it will take uh, order of n log n time third step is we need to search a deadline di deadline di with the condition greater than or equal to dj so with the condition uh, the deadline should be greater than or equal to current deadline current activity deadline okay so this this uh, search will take order of n square okay so the time complexity for this uh, approach is order of n plus order of n log n plus order of n square or i can say that order of n square so order of n square is the time complexity taken by the job set design algorithm thank you very much for uh, listening this uh, lecture uh, I will cover the knapsack problem and all other uh, problems for greedy in subsequent lectures. Thank you very much.